last night we've stayed at uh, Jindra, night before we were at Mulwala. Um, just as we were leaving Mulwala we realised we had a coolant leak in the truck. So we checked it out, it's nothing too major, so we've got to get a few bits and pieces to try and solder up a little crack in the radiator. So we're heading into town now and um, see what we can come up with. So I couldn't get any of the stuff we needed in town to fix this radiator. So I've um, put the cab up, disconnected the top radiator hose and cleaned up the connection as best as I can. And I'm going to attempt to solder it with the solder that I've got. Um, I was hoping to get some high temperature solder and, and flux but I've got some flux core solder here which may or may not do the job but it's easier to reverse getting this off than it is getting the metal putty off. So we'll give this a shot to see if it works. If it doesn't, then we'll resort to the metal putty if we can't get some um, better solder and flux. Anyway, I haven't um, I haven't soldered a radiator for probably 15 years, so we'll see how this goes. So we put some paint on the repair. This isn't to make it look good. This is to help with fault finding. If I do have a leak still, it becomes very apparent where it's come from, where if it's all multicolored. Um, like it was, it's really hard to spot where that leak is. We're now the green coolant will be really easy to spot, or the calcification mark will be easy to spot. So um, let the paint dry, put it all back together. this morning um, we did a little top off of our meat and everything that we needed um, we've come to Gingelic um, it's just down at the bottom of the snowy mountains got a nice little campsite by the river which is lovely um, and there's a pub really close within walking distance so they offer either free cold showers or hot ones for a low cost I think it's four dollars um, we'll definitely have a meal there at some stage. Um, this is a, a lovely little town, it really suits us. We've got no phone service, it's not busy. You can just hear the birds and you just really feel like you're away from everything, which is nice. And the radiator went well, didn't it? Hmm. hmm gonna... All the coolant's still in the radiator, so that's a, that's a bit of a win. And we'll just keep an eye on it. And... See how it goes. Angelic this morning, we spent three nights there. We've come to Tumbarumba as we want to do the cycle trail, rail trail here. It's um, 21 kilometres each direction. There's a cafe at the other end apparently. So it's going to be a 42k bike ride on the rail trail. Gus will ride in the basket, It'll be the longest ride he's been on. Um, so we've camped in a caravan park here at Tumbarumba just so we've got nice hot showers and facilities for after our ride. This morning we're at Tumbarumba at the pump track at the moment and we're about to take on the Tumbarumba to Rosewood Rail Trail which is 21 kilometres each way plus the commute from in town. Um, so hopefully we'll get it all done, um, the main reason that we might not is because we've got Gusto with us, so we'll just let him see how he's going and if he tolerates it we'll do the whole thing and if not we'll just do part of it. Well we made the climb out of town to the start of the rail trail, so it should be a lot easier from here. Kaz thought the uh, hill out of town was a bit of a heartbreaker. It was like hard! <laughs> but it's a beautiful day. A slight southwesterly blowing, which will keep us cool. And um, 21 kilometres of trail in front of us. Lunch at the end if the cafe's open, and 21 k's back.
halfway. Um, in the first two k's, I got a thorn in my tire. Um, I didn't know, like, I knew that we didn't have tubeless, but I didn't know what was going to happen. And this. You knew that we didn't have tubeless. We do I, have tubeless. I knew that we had tubeless. I'm tired. This is a big ride for me. Um, I had no idea what to do. This stuff was like squirting up at me and everything, but. If we just, well, Perry said, just keep rolling and it seals itself and it has, so that's a bit exciting. We've taken a bit of a detour, only 200 meters, but I'm still gonna claim it, um, to come and have a look at Kosciuszko views. We can see um, some of the snow, but there is a little bit of cloud over the top that makes it a bit harder to see, but it's just a beautiful area here, it really is. Made it to Rosewood, the other end of the rail trail, 21 kilometres along the rail trail. Um, Gus did really well in the basket, uh, bikes both did really well. We only saw one danger noodle, um, just a small brown snake about four foot long. Uh, didn't see anyone else on the path at all, uh, beautiful ride. Whilst there's no steep hills on this rail trail, the last six k's on the return is all uphill. Kaz is starting to feel the burn. Credit to her though, she's never done a ride this big. She just keeps trucking on. We've just made it back to the Tumba side of the rail trail. How'd you go? I'd like to report that I didn't fall off my bike, not even once. Um, we saw two brown snakes, a wombat, Got swooped by two magpies. Had a good meal. I'm feeling it now, like the last five Ks has been hard because of the slight incline. Um, but it's been good, like it's been really, really pretty. And I think that like if the surroundings weren't as nice, it would have been like a harder ride to do. Um, definitely need to get my stitch bones more in order for further rides in the future though, I think. And I'm super proud of Gussie, he made it all the way there and back with nil complaints. <laughs>